G'day. In today's video, I'm just having a quick talk about a Xiaomi Mi 9 that I purchased that had a system is destroyed message coming up. Typically with that, what you would do from there would be to connect up the EDL test pins, which is a little bit hard to see on here at the moment, which is here and here. One and two. So typically you'd have the battery disconnected. You'd have a tweezers or a flathead screwdriver as I raise mine up with a bit of solder, you'd connect it up, push this down, plug your cord in and enter EDL mode and use the Mi Flash tool to wipe it. Typically you'd be able to wipe it from there and everything would be all good. Not so much these days. So right now you need EDL of authorized accounts to be able to do it. Previously you'd just be able to do the flash with no drama at all, which I'd done previously on other Xiaomi models, probably predating, I believe the Mi 8 or Mi 8 SE. So the Mi 5, Mi 4s, so on, used to be able to do EDL test and wipe your phone from there. Now you cannot. Now you require an authorized account, which seem to virtually not exist. Or if they are, they're all on those WhatsApp accounts or Instagram posts that you see, saying contact here for an account. So at the po this point in time, this phone here looks like it's going to be essentially just scrap, which is a bit disappointing as it, apart from it being a bit banged up, it's still a decent phone when it is up and running. So that is a tad disappointing to find that out. I think for now I'm just going to throw this back in the pile. Hopefully one day there may be a workaround for that. I'm just looking at this flapping around here. Camera modules. So. If you're currently got a bootloader that's locked and you're trying to do an EDL flash, you, unless you've got an authorized account, which if I just tip, tried to use my standard Xiaomi account, which I've had now for quite a few years, it just nah, wasn't allowed. So sadly, it looks like this is the way of the future. Granted, that was mainly because of the amount of vendor or custom vendor ROMs that used to be installed on these at launch. So you'd buy something like a Xiaomi Mi 4, or Mi 4i, Mi 4c, and it would come along with a whole bunch of bloat that wasn't actually right. It wasn't the the Chinese ROM, nor it was the nor was it the European ROM. And from there, they got a fairly bad reputation. So at this point, they've just decided to just completely lock down the ROMs, and no one is able to do it. So that is a tad disappointing, but I guess it is what it is. Bugger. Catch you guys later. Bye.